All right, guys, listen up, because I'm trying to hook you guys up with a dope-ass giveaway for the Draenor release. So I'm going to be giving away 100 donator points to three different winners, and each of these winners is also going to get a free donator rank. Now, you may be wondering, how much is 100 donator points? How much can that actually get me? Well, if we go over here to the donator store and talk to Fancy Dan, there's three different shops right here. So if we view shop number two, for example, you can literally buy Torva pieces for 10 points and 15 points for the top. So 15 points for the top, 10 points for the helmet, 15 points for the bottom. I mean, you've already got full Torva, and you have some points left over to spare. Now we can move over over to donator shop number three dragon warhammer is in here for 20 points armadillo crossbow is in here for 12 points also if you're into rares and stuff like that you can go to this area here uh the armadillo god sword is 25 points you got party hats up here which cost 80 points well actually it depends i guess it varies i guess it costs more the more you go down so it's like 120 100 yeah i'm not gonna spend too much time in that but if you guys would like a chance to win that there's gonna be three winners 100 donator points to each winner and a free donator rank all you need to do is comment your in-game name in the comments below like this video and be subscribed to my channel and also you must join Join the discord using the link in the description now that giveaway was dedicated purely to you guys but once you guys join the discord and you go into the giveaway channel right here they're doing the same exact giveaway but for everybody so if you want to enter that all you need to do is click this little react button and, and you are entered but anyways without further ado let's get into this video Yo, what is going on guys, Zach here, welcome to another video. Now today, we are on Crandor. Wait, no, we are on Draenor. Yes guys, if you've been in the RSPS scene for a little while, you probably have heard of Crandor. Crandor, previously known as Zionscape, which you guys may be aware of as well, because that was the top server back in the day as well, was shut down at the very end of 2016, like December of 2017, so right before 2017. So it has been over a year. But after many requests, the owner of Draenor has decided to bring it back for everybody. He got the original source from the original Crandor owner and everything, so it's the exact same as it was before, except they're going to be adding a lot more content to it. So if you played Crandor in the past, you are definitely coming to a very familiar game. Now this server owner has had very successful releases in the past, so I have no doubt that this is going to do great as well. So this video, more than anything, is just to let you guys know that Draenor is coming out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 21st on Saturday. I'm going to be live streaming. I'm probably going to go live around 1.30, 1.45, just so I can get the, the pre-release hype and everything, everybody in my live stream, and then we can all grind together and just have a good time on the live stream. So definitely be sure to tune into that. You can even turn on post notifications on my YouTube channel so you guys won't miss it. But just give you guys an idea of what Draenor has to offer. Uh, this is something I noticed earlier. I don't know. I never actually played Crandor, but it looked like a really fun server. I wish I played it at the time. At that time, whenever Crandor was open, I'm pretty sure this was one of my biggest competitions because if you guys aren't aware, I used to own a server called Tizen X and back in 2016, we were pretty much neck and neck with the player base. I mean, this server used to peak at over 200 players online. Tizen X used to peak over 200 players online. So we were pretty much neck and neck. But this is something I noticed right here. There's a little wilderness chest right here. It says, obtain wilderness keys from killing other players in the wilderness for big rewards so i'm guessing that's one of another uh, one of the incentives to go pk on here they probably had a really nice pking system on here so i'm looking forward to that as well if you go into your world map right here you have a bunch of teleports nice little layout here you got your training teleports your slayer teleport skilling pking there are mini games on here by the way guys every single piece of content that's on draenor is like worked to perfection and it's just like pretty much just like runescape so castle wars everything works on there even the those little slingshot things i don't know what they're called there's the little things where you climb up on top and you can like shoot things at the, I, I don't know exactly because I, I never really played castle wars that much but i've seen videos on it it's really cool they have everything working in that the barricades all that stuff if Oh man, I accidentally just teleported to fight caves. Yeah, they have pest control zombies, which is something I really want to get into in a second. I'll show you guys in a sec. But uh, Duel Arena, Fight Caves, Fight Kiln, Castle Wars, Clan Wars, Warriors Guild, Mage Bank Game, Barrows, Gambling. I actually have not been in the gambling. Oh, you must have a minimum of five hours. To that is so smart, dude. That'll just that'll make it to where new players will join and not be able to lose their bank instantly. <laughs> they have bossing right here. I mean, their bossing is amazing, as you can see here. They have a bunch of bosses to choose from. Dinner Zone, Respected Zone, and Extreme Zone. So you guys get the idea. But the thing I'm looking forward to the most whenever this comes out is their zombies so here's the little zombies minigame area so no this isn't a place where you just go kill zombies and that's it there's different waves and you can unlock different shops different areas and advance deeper into the zombies area it's really cool and during that you will accumulate some points which you can actually spend on the zombie monk right here so you got celestial in here elite vanguard dragon ornament all that stuff but yeah i'm probably going to do some of this in my stream tomorrow if i can actually get maxed in time i'm pretty yeah i'm gonna try to get maxed and get my all my combat stats up in the stream tomorrow and maybe we can do some zombies so that should be pretty fun. So yeah, like I said, this isn't a server tour, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining the server and showing the server. I mean, if you guys really want to have any idea of what there is to offer on here, you can probably watch previous videos on Crandor because it's basically just re-releasing. But do not forget to join the Discord. This is the most important thing in this video. Please, everybody who's watching this video, join the Discord. Use my link in the description because that helps out a lot as well. And if you wanted to enter the giveaway, you got to enter in here. But even if you're not entering the giveaway, still join the Discord if you plan on playing the server because they're going to keep you updated with everything right here. And Discord's just the way to go these days, guys. They post all the updates in here. 
here. They're gonna have frequent giveaways and all that stuff. So everybody that watched this video, definitely join the Discord with the link in the description. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. No giveaway winner for today because it's my very first Drain War video, but I am gonna be making a lot more videos on here. So stay tuned for that. After the live stream, we're not just leaving the server. We're gonna be making more videos. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.